Hi, this is a short video to show you how to use the Sarcopenia Quality of Life Access Database, uh, which is used to, to calculate the scores for the seven domains and the overall score. So uh, normally we've sent you two files, this file, the Access Database, and a second file, a Word file, with the instructions for data entry and uh, score generation. So in the database, where you want to start off is on the left in the forms DPA1 form uh, on the bottom. So this form, double click it. This will give you this. And this is where you encode the questionnaires. So I'm going to encode two questionnaires, just random data. I'm going to start with a study ID, always a number. I don't really need a name, but I'll give it a name. And I'm going to skip the date of birth and today's date. So I'm going to encode some random responses. This will take me a little while. Nearly there. Okay, so this is the one questionnaire, one full uh, full and uh, questionnaire, um, but. At the moment, it's not yet reg registered yet. So I need to save it by going to a second record. So this is the first, and it's only saved when I go to a second, when I create a new empty record. So here I'm going to uh, encode the second questionnaire. And I go through the same Going to go through a little faster. I have some missing data. I need to skip on now. Okay, once again, this is a second record, but it's only uh, registered when I go to a new empty record. So now I have two records which are saved in this table. So you can see here, this is in fact, this is just in a table form what I've just encoded in this uh, the, the form here. So I have two records with all the, the answers here. So what comes next is we're going to follow the instructions in the, the Word file. So we're going to start by get scores one, get scores two, extract data, calc scores, and results for SPSS. So get scores one, yes, yes. Get scores two, yes, yes. Uh, extract data, yes, yes, yes called scores. This is a button. I'm going to click on it and you see in fact there's no feedback. I've clicked on it but there's nothing really to show me that uh, that there's something happening. But I, I know I've clicked on it. It works and um, you, sh you, sh you should re uh, resist the urge, the urge to click it again. Once is, is all you need. Then 
I'm going to go to the query results for SPSS. Yes, yes, yes. And now I have my results, which are in this table, results for, uh, for analysis. So I have my two, uh, two subjects. Then I have the, the domain scores. So domain one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and the overall score, which are all scaled from zero to 100. And then I have a bunch of extra columns from here to here and this is in fact this is the the percentage percentage of missing data in the calculation of the score so for example uh, you notice that in the first uh, record i encoded all uh, for every uh, for every possible answer i encoded something so i have no missing data for the second record i skipped quite a lot of cases and for example here for the calculation of uh, domain three. Domain three is, I think, um, three uh, items. And I have 75% missing data. And in total, I have 42.9% missing, uh, missing data. So this is something to keep in mind if you have really high numbers. If you have numbers over 20%, it's something to keep in mind. Now, if you uh, once you've got this and you want to uh, to use it in another database, what you can do is go um, here external data, and I can save this to Excel. So this is my table results for analysis, and I can export it to Excel. I'm going to export it with the formatting and layout, and I'm going to ask to open the Excel file afterwards. So okay. And this is my results. So I have my serial number, subject one, subject two, the domain scores, the overall scores, and the percentage of missing data. Okay, I hope this was helpful. And if uh, there are any questions, uh, you can contact us by email.